So we know on this channel I review the hood of microphones, but I do enjoy finding ones that aren't exactly very public, if you know what I mean. So as always, when it comes to Amazon, I always go to the very end of, like, say, if you search a microphone, you go to page 40 or whatever, to try and find microphones that aren't exactly public. So you don't see them on advertisements, you don't see them in people's streams, you don't see them often reviewed, just to see if they're as good as as low of a price they actually come for. So we thought, so we thought, so I thought I'd take a look at this. This is the Throne, Throne Max, Throne Max, and this is the Red Dot Best Design Award 2020. I've never heard of it, never seen it, or never seen them being reviewed by person. So I thought we'd take a look at it. So let's get into it. So what we're looking at now is Windows 10 Pro OEM key and it's currently the CD key global and the Merry Christmas Super Sale. Plus the great thing about this, it does allow you for a free upgrade up to Windows 11 as well. So on the buy now page, all we need to do is simply go down the promotion code, type in a cheeky discount code of SKJT and click on apply. And what that's going to do is reduce your price further down £12.51, giving you an amazing deal of when it comes to Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Simply just submit your order. All you've got to do is go for the process of trying to find your payment type, which is I choose PayPal, and go from there. And just remember, when you do buy your key, you will be processed to this page, which does give you your activation code, which we're going to go through right now. So activating Windows is as simple as going over to your settings, typing in activation, clicking on settings, heading over to change product key. So from here, all you need to do is copy and paste your code in here, click on next, and you have just upgraded to Windows 10 Pro OEM key for the cheapest price possible. So microphone itself is already uh, assembled. And then you just get an accessory box and you're pretty much good to go. I like these sort of ones because especially for people that aren't used to, I don't know, maybe buying microphones or using microphones or aren't exactly very tech, like tech enthusiasts or whatever, you know. I like the fact that when microphones and stuff that you buy online is already built, all you need to do is simply plug and play. I respect it. So, first of all, we do we do get the M drill or the M drill zero connection guide. So that's all you get. I can tell you pretty much. Obviously, it's meant for PC. Simple USB. Oh, we do get some stickers. Simple USB to USB Type C. We do have a uh, monitoring system as well, so we can monitor the audio, which is quite cool. We do get a little sticker, we get a little important notice, and then we get another little sticker. So that can go on my sticker board, which is pretty cool, which is getting kind of full. And then of course we also get a USB to USB Type-C cable going on here. It is a very nice braided cable, and the USB Type-C port is also at 90 degrees, which I do like. And it's ironic because you normally, like... Microphones where I've spent two, three, four hundred pound on in the past, the cables nine times out of ten are cruddy and they're rubbish. They put more effort into the microphone, but you normally see smaller companies that don't really get much exposure tend to put a little bit more finesse on their packaging, which I do like. And this is the microphone we're looking at. So, like I said, this is the Throne Max, the M Drill Zero. Pretty cool. So Microphone itself does come on a basic stand, as we can see right here. But the stand itself does, so you can use it on the likes of a, a boom arm or a tripod or anything like that. So you can use this to say, I don't know, like say if you want it on a boom arm, you could have it like that. So you do get full utilization there already. It doesn't come with a boom arm, it just comes with a basic base. I will pop a link in the description for some um, dust everywhere. I will put a link in the description for some boom arms that would fit, uh, of course, and we'll go from there. But so if we have a look on the bottom here. We do have the USB Type-C port as well as the 3.5 mil jack. Like I said, the 3.5 mil jack does allow you to monitor um, the microphone. So if you're I don't know, doing a podcast or a YouTube video, it allows you to wear headphones, listen into your own voice and the atmosphere to see if there's anything going on to actually monitor your audio. That makes sense. Right. We'll, we'll start from the bottom. So little volume bot. All right at the bottom there, that's for your monitoring. So that's when you're using headphones, you can actually turn this up and down to monitor your own voice so you can hear it clearer, so you can monitor that as well. Now, on this one, we do have a little notch at the top here, which is at the mute volume. So that's obviously volume muted. It doesn't click in, it just volume mutes. But then we do have two cardio patterns. 
Now, I didn't realise that, so I do want to check what these are. I think they're front-facing and surrounds. I will double-check, though. Ah, okay, so, so, I've got it. So, the one on the left that looks kind of like an upside-down um, love heart. So, this one here looks like a love upside-down love heart. That allows me to use the microphone to project my voice forward only. So, whatever I'm saying forward will be heard. Anything around this side will be blanked out. But we have one on the other side, which is the circle. So say, for instance, I'm doing a podcast or an interview with someone else. It allows me to have this in the center. I talk to it as well as somebody else talking to it, which is quite cool. You normally see this on more expensive ones like the Blue Yeti microphone or anything like that or the Rode microphones, which I'm using. I didn't expect it on a microphone like this. So what we're going to do is get this plugged in. We, of course, are going to do an audio quality test. Uh, and we're going to see roughly what it sounds like. So I'm going to get this plugged in first. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on OBS Studio and I'm just going to attach it and that's pretty much it. So give me a minute. Okay, so I've got it plugged up to OBS Studio now. I'm just monitoring the volume level because this... Fair enough, you can play around the volume, but it doesn't give you an interpretation of how loud it is. So I'm currently monitoring... OBS Studio at the moment, so I've probably got it on about 50%, and I've currently got it on the forward-facing cardio pattern, so it's listening to my voice only and nothing else. So, you can be pretty much a judge of, of what it sounds like, but it was really easy. Um, it's called the Thornmax MD Drill or whatever uh, on OBS Studio, so it tells you exactly what it is straight away. Probably shouldn't move that there, considering it's forward-facing. So there was no issue there. Simple USB Type-C into a USB port on the computer. Add an audio device and it's there. You're pretty much plug and play and it really was as simple as that. But if you do obviously, I don't know, say if you're using this in gameplay and you just all of a sudden... So it really is really, really simple. And I do enjoy the concept of it. It is quite a cool little design. It does look really funky and futuristic. And it was the simplest thing to set up. Like, I've spent, obviously, a lot of money on microphones in the past. The one I'm currently using above you takes forever to set up, especially when it's running through OBS Studio. I've got it running through the Go, Go XLR Mini app as well with different filters and add-ons. This, I have nothing. USB-C in the bottom, USB into my computer, add it into OBS Studio. Done. That was as literally as simple as it gets. So, if you do want to go check out one for yourself, the links are in the video description. Like I said, I will also put some links in there for boom arms that would fit this, so you can check them out as well, by all means. But, at the end of the day, if the video helped you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And by all means, have a nice day.